After weeks of getting special email offers in my spam folder from the J.C. Penny website, I finally decided to take advantage of the $25 new customer offer they sent me. I spent the whole afternoon picking things out from the website and hoping none of my selections were out of stock. It had been over two weeks since I placed my secret online order and today I got confirmation that my order was ready to be picked up at the Penny store at the mall. There was no way I wanted this package delivered to the house. I emailed the store and informed them that I would be there at 10 o'clock Saturday to pick up my order. It was Friday afternoon and when I returned home from school my mother informed me that she would be heading to her sister's for the weekend. This was great news for me, now I could pick up my order and then come home for some private fun. I told my mom that I needed a ride to the mall in the morning. She told me to be ready by 9 o'clock and not be late or I would have to walk there on my own. Saturday morning arrived and I was up early to shower and get ready for a fun afternoon. After my shower I quickly dressed and brushed my teeth all the while thinking of my special package filled with items. I went back to my room and got $90 for my special order. I had saved parts of my allowance all summer and fall so one day I would be able to buy some special things for myself, and today was the day. Finally, I would have some special things of my own that would fit. All the previous stuff I took from girls were either too big or too small. My mother's voice echoed up the stairs as I finished counting out the cash. Adam, are you ready for breakfast yet? Yes, mom, I'll be right down. I stuffed the money in my pocket and ran downstairs for breakfast. So what are you doing at the mall today, dear? Spending time with your friends? Uh, I'm, I'm just hanging out for a while and maybe catch a movie later. Well, it wouldn't hurt you to buy some new clothes for a change. I started to snicker and smile a little as I ate my cereal. What's so funny, dear? Oh, nothing, mom. Maybe I will pick up some new things to wear today. Well, what's so funny about that? Oh, nothing. Well, just make sure you leave the mall before 4 o'clock. It takes about 45 minutes to walk home and I don't want you out after dark. Come on, mom, I'm 14 now. Can't I have a little freedom? When you're older you can stay out later, just make sure your ass is home by 5 o'clock to answer the phone when I call. Okay, okay, take it easy. When are you coming back from Aunt Lisa's? I should be home Sunday night, so make sure the house is in nice shape. I don't want to spend two hours cleaning up after you when I get home. After cleaning up the dishes and loading up the car with mom's overnight bags, we headed into town and down to the mall. You seem a little jittery, Adam. Do you have a girlfriend you're not telling me about? No, Mom, it's not a girlfriend. Well, one of these days you could surprise me and start dating a nice girl. Yeah, maybe someday I'll meet a nice girl. My heart was racing and full of excitement as I was just minutes away from getting my pennies order. We pulled into the parking area and Mom gave me a hug and a kiss along with a list of things to get at the right aid. Have fun today, dear. Oh, I will, Mom. I will. I got out and watched her drive away, freedom at last. It was now almost 9.45 and I headed into the mall. I had to walk all the way to the other end of the mall to the penny store. It was a long walk, but it was well worth it. I stopped at the right aid and grabbed the four items on the list. After paying for them I continued my journey to Penny's. The doors were just opening and I asked one of the sales girls where I needed to go to pick up an order. She pointed to the sales desk across the aisle and I walked over to it. A stunning blonde was standing behind the counter. Yes, dear, what can I do for you? Uh, I'm here to pick up an order. What's the name? Adam Anderson, ma'am. Okay, dear, let me find this in the computer. Just bear with me. As she moved the mouse and did some clicking I checked her out from heels to hair. Okay Adam, your order is ready for pickup and your total for today is $115 minus your online coupon that makes it an even $90. How will you be paying for this? I have cash today. I pulled the money from my pocket and counted it out for her. Very good Mr. Anderson, now let me get your package. She disappeared behind the counter and into the rack searching for my package. 
After about 10 minutes of searching through the endless amount of packages, she returned empty-handed. I'm not sure where your package is. Let me check the order sheet again. I know it's here. Hmm, it was dropped off five days ago. Are you sure no one else has picked it up? No, I'm sure of it. No one else knows about the package. It's all for me. Well, let me make a phone call and see if the manager is here today, since she's the one who signed for the orders that day. She picked up the phone and started dialing as I paced the floor waiting for my package. Yes, this is Karen up front. I'm looking for a package for a Mr. Anderson and it's not up here. Is Ashley in today? Hi Ashley, I have a missing package for Adam Anderson. The computer is telling me that it was dropped off here five days ago but it's not up here with the rest of the orders. There were now five more people behind me and I could tell they were getting a little pissed off. Okay dear, the manager is looking for the package back in the warehouse so just hang loose until she calls me back. I took a seat and the sales lady took care of the other customers. I'm not sure why my package was dropped off five days ago. I just got confirmation yesterday. I guess it must just be a computer glitch or something. After an agonizing 25 minutes the phone rang. This is Karen. You found it. Great. I will send him back for it. Okay, Adam, they found your package. Now, you go down the aisle and bear to the left. When you get into the dress area, go all the way back to the end of the store and ask for Sherry. She handed me my receipt and I headed down the aisle. After about an hour screwing around, I was finally going to get my package. As I walked past the dresses and skirts, I turned left right into the hosiery and foundation garment area. I was now in dreamland surrounded by nylon and satin undergarments as far as the eye could see. I marveled at all the shiny nylon and satin garments on display. I also took notice to three women at the register staring me down as I walked up to the sales desk. All three were wearing short dresses, nylons and heels just like fashion models, they were so hot. Well hello dear, you must be Adam? Yes I am, are you Sherry? I'm here to pick up my package. Well, we have it right here for you. May I see your receipt, please? I handed the slip to the woman and all three of them looked it over as they snickered and giggled. Well, Adam, we don't get many boys back here buying these things. Who is all this stuff for if you don't mind us asking? I was now getting a little nervous as the three of them surrounded me and towered over me by at least two feet or more. Uh, uh, this stuff is, is for my, uh, sister. How about that girls? He's picking this up for his sister. How sweet is that? But, your name is on the package, dear, can you explain that? Uh, well, she picked out the items from the catalog and I placed the order for a birthday present. The women laughed at me and one of them put her hands on my shoulders. Let's see here, sweetie, you have six pairs of panties, 12 pairs of nylons and one pretty dress on your order. That's one nice surprise. Did you girls ever have your brothers buy you panties and nylons? Yeah right, my brothers wouldn't step foot in this part of the store. How old is your sister Adam? Uh, she's around 16. 16, now what teenage girl wears nylons these days, hmm? Can you just give me my package please? Why don't you come over here with us and we'll show you our pantyhose section, maybe you'll buy some more today? I just want my package, not a tour of the store, ma'am. One of the women grabbed my arm and guided me over to the nylon racks filled with pantyhose and stockings. So Adam, do you like the way nylons look on a girl's leg? Uh, I guess so. Sherry pulled me right up to the pantyhose racks and handed me the nylon color sampler showing all the different shades of nylons. So which colors do you like, sweetie? The women snickered and giggled as I grabbed the nylon sampler. I could feel the perspiration building on my forehead as I fondled the all ten colors with my trembling hands. Just look how nervous he is, girls. I was shaking like a leaf as the women glared down at me. Here, I like the suntan and coffee colors. Can I have my package now? How about that girls? He picked out the same colors that's in this package. What a coincidence, or is it something else Adam? I, I, I don't know what do you mean? 
You and your sister like the same shades of pantyhose, how sweet is that? My heart was racing at full throttle as I looked for a way out of this mess. You know what, Sherry, maybe the order is for sweet Adam here. I looked up at them in disbelief as they all smiled down at me. No, no, these are for my, my, mom. Your mom. Five minutes ago you told us they were for your sister, now which is it, dear? Just then a loud noise filled the store. Oh my god, girls, it's the fire alarm. Let's get our purses and get out of here. The women grabbed their purses from the register area and started walking to the side of the store. Here's your package, dear. You better go with us. It's quicker to go through the salon. Finally, I had my special package and was heading to the exit. Come on, Adam, through here. I could smell and see the smoke as it began to fill a small section of the store. The women lured me along and at the side of the store we walked through some sliding glass doors and into the penny salon. Everyone was heading out of the salon and onto the street when we walked in. The alarm was quite loud and panic was everywhere as the women detoured me from the front of the salon and down a hallway at the back of the salon away from the front doors. Quick, through here Adam. I was rushed into a small dressing room with no exit. Hey, this isn't the way out. I turned around and all three of them had big grins on their faces and crossed arms over their chests. Well, 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 girls, now we have him all to ourselves for a while. I had a firm hold of my package as the three of them surrounded me once again. We have to get out of here, there's a fire in the store. Be quiet sissy boy, all you smell is a two bags overdone popcorn in the microwave. We had Karen set up a little fire drill to get everyone out of the store for a while so we could have a little play time with you. I don't want to play. Let me go. So you like to play dress up do you Adam? No, no, I, I, don't know what you mean? Of course you do, you little sneak. Just look at him shaking girls. Yeah, I bet he's wearing panties or nylons right now the little sissy. I made a break for the entrance but I was totally outnumbered. Two women grabbed my arms as my special package fell to the floor. Let me go, please. Tears were filling up in my eyes as the sherry came over and put both her heels on my toes. Ouch. Get off of me please. She unzipped my zipper and poked open the button on my jeans. I was squirming to break free with all I had but they were too much for me. Now let's see how pretty your underwear is sweetie. No sherry. Please don't with one quick pull. My pants were pulled down exposing my suntan pantyhose to all the women. How about that girls he was buying the stuff for himself, the little sissy. Tears ran down my cheeks and my arms were freed. They all slid their hands up and down my nylon covered legs. What a sissy you are Adam, you're even wearing satin panties. Please let me out of here, I only do this for a little fun. Sure you do sweetie, I bet you have a closet full of skirts and dresses as well. Us girls don't like seeing boys in pantyhose and panties do we girls? What a pathetic scrawny boy you are, I bet you don't even weigh 100 pounds. The girls and I think you need to be taught a lesson today on how to be more feminine if you're gonna dress like a girl, Adam dear. How does that sound sweetie? I tried to speak but I couldn't get any more words out, I was so scared and nervous now that my secret was out in front of them. Why don't we start with a little shower, since you're so full of perspiration? No, I want to go home. Tough luck sweetie your ass is ours for the rest of the day. The women pulled off my shirt and then my pants leaving me standing there in just my pantyhose and panties. Sherry took several pictures of standing there in my feminine underwear and then showed me all of them on her camera. Please don't tell anyone about this. Please. We have a lot of work to do sweetie so don't piss us off or these pictures will be sent to your mother. One of the women cracked my ass and ordered me out of my nylons and panties. I took them off and then they escorted me into a small shower-like area with a tiled floor. Let's put that long hair of yours in a shower cap so it doesn't get messed up. My hair was rolled up and tightly squeezed into the cap. One of the women pulled out a pink garden hose with a pink sprayer nozzle aside of me. I want my clothes back, 
please let me go home. Okay, Sherry, let's get started. She pulled on a pair of latex dishwashing gloves, flipped the switch and then began to spray me. What are you doing to me? What is this stuff? The women all laughed as she sprayed a thick pink cream all over my legs, arms and body. The cream had a funny smell to it and it was quite warm to the touch. Turn around, Adam dear. I turned away from them and she continued to spray me with the cream all the way up to my neck. Very nice, sweetie. Now you just stand there for a while. Let me see your face, dear. Hmm, good. You're not shaving yet. I stood there covered in pink smelly cream shaking like a leaf. Then one of the women picked up my Rite Aid bag. Let's see what the sissy bought at the drugstore. The women looked through the bag and quickly found a bottle of Revlon nail polish. So, Adam, do you wear Revlon all the time? The girls broke out in laughter as the receipt fell to the floor. Hey girls, check this out. The little sissy never paid for the nail polish. It's not listed here on the receipt. So, Adam, you stole nail polish from Rite Aid. Maybe we should call down there and have them send up security. No. Please don't, I cried out. The women walked out of the room with my packages as I stood there lost in how I was going to get out of this mess. Ten minutes went by and one of the women came in and turned on the shower. Okay dear, use this washcloth and wipe off that cream. As soon as I wiped the cream off my arms I noticed my hair went with it. Oh no, my hair is gone. Of course dear, you can't play dress up properly with all that nasty boy hair, now get busy. I wiped off all the cream and she helped me with my back. Minutes later the other two women entered the shower area as I was rinsing off the residue. Just look how cute you look now, Adam. Now your nylons will shine and feel so much better now. She handed me a towel and pulled the shower cap off of my head. My skin was so soft and tender as a cool breeze from the doorway sent a chill up my spine. Sherry then began to squirt baby oil all over me and instructed me to rub it all over my hairless body. Okay, sweetie, let's go. One of the women pulled me along by the arm and into one of the dressing rooms. Here, put these panties on. She handed me the panties and all three of them watched as I had no other choice but to put them on. I slid the shiny aqua panties up to my waist for a perfect fit. I was then spun around and quickly strapped into a matching aqua padded bra. Get this off of me, I'm not a girl. One of the women gave my ass a sound smack and pulled my long hair. Look sissy boy, if you give us a hard time we'll have the store security up here and show them how cute you look in your pretty underwear, now settle down and enjoy your pretty panties. Tears filled my eyes as they pulled me out of the dressing room and into the salon. Karen from the front was waiting for us when we walked in. How's our little sissy sneak doing? Oh, she's coming along fine. She's all ready for her hair and nail appointment. I looked at them in total shock and shook my head from side to side. I don't want my hair and nails done, I'm not a girl, I'm a boy. For the last time, shut up and sit your pantied ass down in the chair. Sherry was getting pissed at me as I thought about running out of the front of the salon. But how would I explain it to everyone when all they see me wearing is a pair of panties and a bra? I was so screwed. The firemen will be out of here in another two hours, and we will be reopening the store then, so get busy, dot. The women grabbed plastic bottles from the shelf and quickly began to cover my damp hair with smelly lotions and liquids. Yes, Adam, you're gonna love your new look we have planned for you. Please don't do this to me. I don't want to look like a girl. I want to go home. Aw, listen to our little sissy thief. He wants to go home. Tears rolled down my cheeks as the women coiled my hair tightly with curlers. Twenty minutes later my head was placed up under a dryer and it was turned on. Over the next forty minutes my toenails and fingernails were filed and painted in the Revlon red nail polish I took from the Rite Aid store. I could see the women talking and pointing at me while my nails and hair dried, but I could not hear a word they said because of the dryer noise. I was in total shock at what they were doing to me and there was no way out. The dryer was turned off and the curlers were now being uncoiled. Wow, this looks great girls, just look at her. 
My nails and hair were now done to their satisfaction. One of the women pulled a little table up beside of me and smiled wickedly at me. Okay, Adam, it's time for your makeup. My eyes were ready to pop out of my sockets at what she said to me. No, I can't wear makeup. Boys don't wear makeup. Girls do. Shut up and close your eyes while I put this eyeshadow on you. This isn't fair. I don't want to look like a girl. Sherry grabbed a fist full of my newly permed hair. This is the last chance you're getting today before I call security. Now don't piss me off anymore. Do you understand me, Missy? I nodded in agreement and she began to apply the makeup. Over the next 30 minutes she covered my face with powders and liquids for a cover girl look. Now some matching lipstick for you and you'll be all pretty. She rolled the Revlon red lipstick across my lips several times and then stood back to admire her work. All three of them smiled and giggled as I sat there in my new feminine underwear with a new hairdo, polished nails, and makeup. She looks great. Come on, we only have 30 minutes before the store reopens. Once again, I was pulled back to the dressing room. Where are my clothes at? Please let me go home. Shut up, Amanda. I looked at her in disbelief as she called me by a girl's name. Please don't call me that. My name is Adam. Shut up, you little panty pervert. Here, get your nylons on. She threw me a pair of Penny's sheer suntan pantyhose. Come on, sweetie, show us how good you are putting on pantyhose. The women towered over me as I sat on the dressing room bench and began to bunch up the pantyhose. As soon as I put my foot in the nylons a new sensation shot through my body, one I never felt before. I pulled the nylons up and over my hairless legs and to my waist for a perfect dreamy fit. Just look how good she is at putting on pantyhose, you even have your seams straight to show off your pretty red toenails. There I stood in front of three women all dressed in feminine underwear as I felt new sensations like never before with each nylonic touch. The women stood by me and slid their hands all up and down my nylon-covered legs as I stood there trembling with fear and excitement. Yes, Amanda, things are looking up. So how do you like your legs now, sweetie? They're hairless and shiny just like a young girl's. This was the first time I put on brand new nylons and the fresh smell and stiff control top panty were sending me over the nylon cliff. Sherry, give me the spray. A small can was thrown to her and she began to spray me with a feminine body spray all over. You're gonna smell so sweet, Amanda. Stop it, it's stinging my eyes. Shush up, Amanda, all girls get used to that. She continued spraying me all over until the can was empty. Okay, sweetie, let's get that dress on. A aqua satin long sleeve dress was hanging on the hook and I knew I would be in it shortly. Sherry pulled it off the hanger and the back zipper was unzipped. Okay, Amanda, let's get your dress on. One of the women nudged me over to the dress and I stepped into it. They pulled the dress up over my waist and I put my hairless silky smooth arms in the satin sleeves. When Sherry tried to pull the zipper up, it wouldn't go past my lower back. Damn it, girls, this dress is a size too small. The damn zipper won't go any higher. What a break! Now I didn't have to wear the dress, maybe my luck was changing. I stepped out of the dress and the three of them then escorted me out of the dressing room and back out into the store. Come on Amanda, I know how to fix this little problem. My silky legs rubbed together with every step I took and it was sending the wrong messages to my brain. I tried to ignore them but this was nylon overload time for me and I couldn't handle it. We walked into the foundation section of the store and one of them pulled out a bright white satin corset. No, Sherry, don't make me wear that. The women laughed, spun me around and wrapped the corset around my waist. This isn't fair, let me go. My ass was cracked again three more times as the corset was fitted around my waist. Yes, dear, this will get us that smaller dress size we need so you can look your best. The laces were run through the many eyelets and my waist began to shrink in size. Arms up, sissy. My ass was cracked one more time as I put my arms up over my head. Keep pulling, Sherry, I think we're almost there. No, it's too tight on me, please take it off. 
The final eyelets were laced and tied into a little bow. That should do the trick. How about it, girls? Yeah, she now has a proper girly figure to match her clothes. Sherry looked me over and then noticed my little bulge in my panties. Oh my god, Amanda, that's disgusting. The other women broke out in laughter and rubbed their hands over my nylon imprisoned hard on. Pull down your nylons and panties, sweetie. Sherry handed me a pantaliner so my panties would not get messed up and I placed it in the bottom of my dreamy satin panties. What a sissy you are, Amanda. Come on, we have to finish dressing. Quickly, I was rushed back to the dressing room and once again I stepped into the aqua dress. This time the zipper glided gracefully up past my corseted waist right up to my neckline. The satin dress was now a perfect fit. They spun me around and fixed my hair so it flowed perfectly on my shoulders. Just look at you now, Anata. That dress is just so pretty on you. The women laughed and giggled as I stood there completely dressed as a girl. I sat back down on the bench as Sherry fitted me with a pair of pretty aqua three-inch open toed sandals. They were strapped high around my ankles, and I was now totally feminized from head to toe. My pretty nylon-covered toenails shined brilliantly in the aqua heels. Take some sissy steps for us, Amanda. I stood up and took very small steps in the unfamiliar heels. This is wrong. I want my boy clothes back. Shut your trap and follow us. We walked back out through the hosiery section and stopped at the jewelry glass case. The women pulled out a gold-colored watch and gold-colored earrings. Without protest, I let them clip on the hoop earrings and watch. Very nice, dear, very nice. The giggling and laughter continued as I was led to a full-length mirror. Oh my god, look at me. I'm, I'm, I'm a girl. The satin dress came to mid-thigh and the skirt was poofed out because of the sewn-in dreamy stiff white crinoline petticoat. My feminine figure was just like a young girl's thanks to the constricting corset. My legs shined in the bright store overhead lights and were absolutely beautiful. The big problem was the hair. It was now fire red and full of curls. What did you do to my hair? Will this wash out tonight? The women laughed and sat me down. It's like this, sweetie, your hair is now permed and those curls and color will not wash out for a month. What? I can't go to school on Monday with permed red hair everyone will laugh at me. That's a great subject to talk about, sweetie, the woman got a pissed off look on her face as she pulled me up onto my heels by my permed hair. You don't know me, sweetie, but last year you stole my daughter's ideas for her science project and in turn you won the science fair. She cried for weeks on losing that competition. Then one day we finally put all the pieces together. I was standing on my tiptoes as she had a firm grip of my hair. You're hurting me. Please let go of my hair. The only way you could have known about her project was to be in our house or outside of it when my daughter and I talked about it. No, I came up with the idea on my own. That's a lie, sweetie. Your friend Jeremy told her all about how you would stand outside her window and watch her undress. He, he, he's lying. She slapped me across the face with her hand. Don't you lie to me, dear. You son of a bitch. You're just a little peeping Tom, or in this case a peeping sissy. Now it's our turn to get our revenge. You're going to be our little sissy salon helper today until we close at 6 o'clock. No. This isn't fair. Don't make me do this. You're going to be so pretty getting drinks and magazines for all the women and if you fuck up just once, I will have mall security down here to pick up your sissy shoplifting ass. Tears rolled down my cheeks and the women pulled me out and into the salon. All the hairdressers were coming back in from the street and looked right at me. Well, just look at our little sissy helper all dressed up like a fashion model. They all made a fuss over my dress and makeup. They were not shy either, as many of them picked at my hair and dress along with snapping plenty of pictures. Such a good sissy you are letting us dress you up like this. All of them laughed at me and sprayed me with more perfume. I walked the tiled floor for them several times to get practice in my heels. Very nice, Amanda. I think you're gonna be fine today. One of them came over to me and clipped a name tag on me with name Sissy Adam. 
There I was all dressed up as a girl and working in a salon for the afternoon. Over the next four hours I literally ran around in high heels. I was constantly harassed by the hairdressers in not getting drinks in magazines to the customers fast enough. All the women knew I was a boy wearing a dress and they all snickered and complimented my new sissy look. Thank God none of the customers recognized me as Adam. Just as my confidence was building, terror filled my eyes as Susan came walking through the doors with four other girls from school. Get a look at him girls, there's the sissy who stole my science project idea. I was totally terrified as everyone in the salon took notice. Just look at sissy Adam Anderson all dressed up in nylons and a dress, you little sissy sneak. I folded my arms across my chest and hung my head down as Susan and her snotty friends surrounded me. Even in my heels, Susan was at least one foot taller than me. The girls all laughed at me and fondled my hair and dress. All of them snapped countless pictures of me all dressed up in my feminine attire. Tears rolled down my cheeks as the humiliation was just unbearable. Ah, what's the matter sissy, do we play too rough for you? Stop it Susan, this isn't fair doing this to me. Adam, your slip is showing. Everyone broke out in laughter as I tugged at my skirt and petticoat. You deserve everything you're getting asshole, I can't wait to show everyone at school on Monday your new look. You might as well just start wearing dresses all the time. Everyone in the salon was laughing and Susan was in total control. Just look at your new hairdo and those pretty painted nails. She bent over and pulled at my pantyhose and then snapped them back. I'm impressed Adam, you even shaved. That sissy dress and name tag of yours is just too much, how about it girls? They were laughing hysterically at me and I was at the end of my rope. All five of them grabbed hands and started to hop around in a circle with me in the center chanting, Adam's a sissy, Adam's a sissy. Stop it girls! Stop it! Adam's a sissy, Adam's a sissy. I was so pissed off, I just couldn't take any more from them. I then took a wild swing at Susan but missed. You punch like a girl Adam, you think you can take me sissy boy? I swung again and again as she danced around me and dodged all my punches adding to my humiliation. After missing her several times she grabbed my arm and quickly pulled it behind my back. Let me go Susan, let me go. With her free hand she grabbed my long permed hair and jerked my head back. I was now totally helpless as I kicked and pulled. Everyone was laughing and egging her on as she guided me to the back of the salon. Stop it Susan, let me go, please. My heels clicked along the floor as I tried to break free. I have been waiting a long time for this day asshole, and now I will enjoy it to the fullest. You're such a sis letting a girl beat you up. She sat down and then pushed me over her lap. That's it Susan give it to him, make him pay for watching you undress and stealing your ideas. The skirt of my dress was flipped up over my back and I kicked my nylon covered legs in the air trying to get away. With my hands now on the floor and my panted bottom exposed I begged her to let me go. Just look at your pretty panties and pantyhose, you're such a sissy Adam. Girls, get some pictures of this too. As the blood began rushing to my head, she began to smack my pantied ass with her bare hand. I couldn't believe this was happening to me as she wailed away. The smacks echoed all through the salon along with my pleas for her to stop. How does it feel to be sissy spanked by a girl Adam? Please let me go Susan. I'm sorry for what I did to you. The girl snapped more pictures of my humiliation and spanking as Susan's fury was unleashed on my pantied ass. Come on Adam, I thought you were a tough guy. I guess you're just a little sissy who likes to play dress up. My crying continued as my ass was stinging from the smacks. All the customers and hairdressers were now watching me get spanked and encouraged her to spank me harder and harder. One of her friends pulled my hair very hard and mocked me again and again. So how does feel to be a girl you little sissy? Do you have a boyfriend yet Amanda dear? The girls again grabbed hands and danced around the chair singing, Adam's a sissy, Adam's a sissy. I was completely out of control when Susan's mom came in and stopped the spanking. 
That's enough, Susan. Now let her go. Susan pushed me to the floor and her friend snapped more pictures of me crying like a little girl. All the women in the salon applauded and congratulated her on getting even. I was pulled to my feet and one of the women helped me fix my skirt and dress. She looked at me funny and handed me a tissue to dry my eyes. That's amazing young lady, your makeup is still perfect, even after all those tears. Of course it is Mrs. Blake, he's wearing our new line of permanent no-fade makeup. It will not come off for at least a month or more. Laughter filled the salon once again as I stood there with a dumbfounded look on my face staring into one of the mirrors. All right everyone, the show's over, let's get back to work. That means you to sissy boy. Now get your ass moving. Susan and her friends waved goodbye and high-fived each other as they went out the door. How was I going to explain this to my friends now? My life was now officially over. By six o'clock the salon was empty and I was being ordered around like a slave cleaning up from the customers. Come on Amanda sweep up all that hair and then get busy with the sinks. I was doing all the cleaning while the other five women sat around teasing and harassing me. Just look at her go. She's got those heels down to a science. She'll be ready for the runway in no time girls. Amanda dear, your petticoat is showing again. For the twentieth time today I had to stop what I was doing and pull my satin skirt down to cover my stiff petticoat. My feet were killing me from the heels and my stomach was still being crushed by the constricting corset. I just wanted this day of hell to be over and go home. It was eight o'clock, and the women who dressed me earlier in the day came back to get me. Well, how's Amanda doing? I hung my head low as I sat in one one of the salon's chairs with my legs crossed. Come on dear, we have a big surprise for you. They pulled me from the chair and the salon girls waved goodbye to me. We headed back into the main part of the penny store where this terrible day started. Our heels clicked along the tiled floor and the unmistakable sound of our nylon-covered legs rustled under our skirts with every high-heeled step we took. The store was all dark and everyone was gone except for the four of us. Where are we going? I want to go home. The manager would like to see you, dear. We walked up a flight of stairs and into a plush carpeted office. Have a seat, dear, she'll be here soon. The women continued complimenting my new look and how pretty I was. After about five minutes the office door opened behind me and then closed. Sorry I'm late ladies, I had a call to take, don't just sit there Adam, stand up and face me. I jumped out of the chair and turned around to see my neighbor, Ashley. Ashley! What, what, are you doing here? I'm the manager here sweetie, and I just love how that dress looks on you. I'm sure you're loving it too with all your pretty feminine underwear. I picked it out myself about ten days ago when I spotted your internet order of panties and pantyhose on my desk. I couldn't believe how lucky I was to see my sissy neighbor finally take advantage of the internet coupons I had been sending him over the last three months. All of them were laughing and snickering as I stood there confused. Why, Ashley? Why would you do that? I shook my head in disbelief as she looked me over. After Mrs. Patterson told me the terrible story about how you stole Susan's science fair idea, I thought it was time for all of us to get together and get even. She pushed me back into the chair and went on. You girls don't know it, but Adam here has been stealing my nylons and panties off my wash line for the past eight months. No, Ashley, I never did that. He would take a pair here and they're just like a little panty sneak would. The only problem was, I seen him one night and I have been waiting to square the books with him ever since. Tears rolled down my cheeks once again as my private panty raids were exposed to everyone. Well Ashley, you sure have him right where we want him now. Yes, he sure loves the feel of pantyhose and panties all up and down his legs and ass. I wish I could have seen the expression on his face when you pulled his pants down. Now he's just like us girls wearing a dress and heels. Ashley put her hands on my shoulder and began to massage me. So tell us Adam, why do you like being dressed as a girl? I, I, I love the feel of nylons and panties. Do you hear that girls? He likes to feel all girly. 
Everyone broke out into laughter. Well, Adam, or should I say Amanda, why don't we head downstairs and you can prove to us that you're telling the truth? Ashley grabbed my sweaty hand and pulled from my chair. Oh, Amanda dear, your petticoat is showing, here let me fix that for you. Ashley picked up the skirt of my dress and smacked my pantied bottom three times before she adjusted the satin aqua skirt. Stop it, Ashley. This isn't fair. I want to go home. Aw, oh, just look at our sissy crying. Is our feminine lesson too much for you, dear? Now, get your ass moving. I was escorted back downstairs into the darkness of the empty store. They were all laughing and giggling as we entered the pantyhose and stocking section. The women took a main quin down off of a display and then pulled me up in place of it. What's going on? Let me down. The remaining lights were turned off except for the spotlight that shined brightly on the display where the main quin and pantyhose stood. Ashley pulled up a bunch of chairs and everyone sat down in the darkness. Did I tell you girls that Adam also loves to jerk off while he's wearing his nylons? I looked down at Ashley in disbelief as she went on with her story. The one day I noticed some white giz dried up in my nylons he snuck back on my wash line. They all broke out in a hysterical laugh as I stood in the bright lights. Okay, Amanda dear, you can start the peep show for us. What do you mean, Ashley? Pull up that sissy dress and start jerking off for us. No, Ashley, I can't do this in front of you. I'll tell you what, sweetie, if you jerk off for us I'll have the girls get the special solutions to take off that makeup and fix your hair back to your boy style before you head home. I'll even give you your boy clothes back. Now standing three feet above the women with a bright spotlight shining on me I could not pass up the offer Ashley just made to me. Come on sweetie lift up that dress for us. I closed my eyes and lifted up my satin skirt and petticoat of the dress. I rolled down my nylons and panties ever so slowly like so many times before. That's it sweetie, let's see how you do it. I heard Ashley get out of her chair and open a pair of fresh new nylons from the rack. I peeked down and watched her put her hands into the stockings. She then began to rub her nylon-covered hands up and down my nylon-covered legs. Oh, oh, yes Ashley, please don't stop. I could feel myself beginning to stiffen up as both of her nylon-covered hands slid smoothly up and down my sheer legs. Keep going Amanda, you're doing just great. It wasn't long before I was totally hard and perspiring from the spotlight shining brightly on me. Just look at her go, girls. My body was totally freaking out from all the nylon static shocks on my legs that Ashley was generating. Sticky precum oozed all over the palm of my hand as my leg massage quickened. Come on, Amanda, let's see how far you can shoot it. I could feel my eruption coming as my body shook with excitement. Oh, 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 Ashley. I screamed out as my little teenage dick began to shoot gobs of cum all over the packages of pantyhose and stockings below me again and again. My body and mind were overloaded with ecstasy as I finished. I felt faint and weak in the knees as Ashley helped down off the despaily. Wow, what a performance, dear. Yeah, and I got it all on video. I pulled up my panties and nylons and Ashley fixed my skirt and petticoat. Everyone gave me a hug, crossed their arms, and devilishly smiled at me. Ashley, can I have that stuff now like you promised? As I waited for her reply, someone from the darkness of the store grabbed me by the hair from behind and pulled me over to an awaiting chair. Let me go Susan, don't spank me again, you're hurting me. Ashley get her off me, please. Once again I was pulled over the knees exposing my pantied bottom high in the air. Well, 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 so my little Adam likes to steal pantyhose and panties and jerk off in them. No, Mom, please listen to me, I can explain. Her hand smacked my pantied bottom again and again as she scolded me. I just couldn't believe Ashley's story about you stealing her nylons off of her wash line. What is the matter with you, boy? All the women surrounded me as she smacked and smacked. Then I find out you have been stealing nail polish from the drugstore as well. I am so disappointed in you, Adam. Tears fell from my eyes as I cried out for her to stop. Well, you're going to be wearing dresses for a while, sweetie, 
and you're going to school dressed as a girl on Monday as punishment. I was completely wiped out when she stood me up on my heels. Just look at my sissy son all dressed up. I just can't believe it. No wonder you never had a girlfriend. I stood there lost in total embarrassment and humility as I stared at the floor. Well, Ashley, I guess I owe you an apology. Are you satisfied with your punishment? Yes, Mrs. Anderson, I am so pleased at what took place here today. I'm so glad you gave me a chance to prove it to you along with Adam's email address to make everything possible. I wasn't sure if he was ever going to take the bait. Everyone enjoyed playing dress up with Amanda here. I just can't believe he was taking your clothes off the wash line. I'm sorry for any trouble he has caused you. I'm sorry your son turned out to be a little sissy. Maybe some therapy will help him out of this perversional delusion he's in? That's a great idea, Ashley. I will look into it on Monday. How much do I owe you for the dress and heels he's in? I think he will be wearing it when I send him to school on Monday. You just keep your sissy son on the other side of the fence. I don't want him touching my clothes again. As for the dress and heels, well, why don't you have her work in the salon with us on the weekends to help pay for these things? She was a big help today and I had to pay these girls a lot of overtime as well. Besides, that makeup isn't wearing off anytime soon, I'm sure his nails and hair will have to be freshened up each week anyway. I will have him here every weekend for the next two months until everything is paid in full, you can count on it, isn't that right Amanda dear? My mom pulled my hair firmly as she waited for my reply. Please mom, don't make wear dresses to school. I don't want to be a salon sissy. Tough luck sweetie, your ass is going to be covered in nylon for a while so get used to it. Now, you can apologize to Ashley and Mrs. Patterson for what you've done to them. I apologize to Ashley and to Susan's mom for all my bad deeds and they each gave me a hug. My mother grabbed me by the arm and we headed down the aisle. Oh Amanda dear, don't forget your package you came in for. Ashley handed me my special package of nylons and panties and then gave my ass one final smack. I'll see you next weekend dear. The women celebrated their accomplishments as I walked out with my head hung low and totally humiliated at what they did to me. How was I ever going to be a normal boy again?